Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at six Lego minifigure blind bags from the new Marvel Studios line. These are all based on Disney Plus shows, so we have WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, and then some characters from the new What If cartoon. So very excited for these. These are brand new. I got these from Amazon, so they just sent me a pack of six blind bags, so I have no idea what these are. I have not seen these in stores, so I was not able to kind of feel the packaging and try to guess who's inside. So I have no idea who we're going to get here going fully blind on these. We may run into some duplicates. So let's go ahead and start off. Now, I did accidentally open this one already, so I do know who's in this one. But we'll go ahead and dump it out so we can all see here. It is Scarlet Witch. So make sure I dump all the pieces out, and then we will uh, move the camera down a little bit so we can see what's inside. We'll take a, a look real quick here at the little pamphlet that comes with this. So it gives us the full breakdown of the 12 that are available. So you can see from WandaVision, we have of course Scarlet Witch, Vision, and then Monica Rambo, AKA Photon. From uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, of course, we have Bucky, the Winter Soldier. We have uh, Falcon or Captain America, Sam Wilson. And then from Loki, we have Loki and Sylvie. And then down here from What If, we have uh, Doctor Strange, <laughs> Spider-Man, I believe that's supposed to be. These episodes haven't all aired yet. Uh, Zombie Cap, Captain Carter we've seen, uh, T'Challa as Star-Lord we've seen, and then I believe this is supposed to be Gamora as uh, Thanos, which we have not seen yet. So a couple of these episodes have not aired, but pretty cool lineup here. Very, very cool. And then on the back here, it just gives you some assembly instructions for a few of the characters. So let's go ahead and fold this back up here. Put that off to the side. So let's go ahead and figure out how we are supposed to assemble this. I'm assuming we will just peg the legs in there. We get a cape here, which just has the one hole. So that's going to go on like this. Then we have the head. Looks like maybe she has two faces, I'm guessing. Yes, so we have kind of a standard expression here. And then you have some glowing red eyes when she's activating her powers, which is very, very cool. So we'll close that up. And then here is the hair piece, which has her, I guess, mask, head crest, whatever you want to call that. Very, very cool. Now, it does make it a little difficult. I'm going to take it off real quick so we can see the printing here on the back, which looks very cool. This is the costume we see her in at the very end of the show. Spoilers, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely recommend it. And then you get a nice cloth cape here. So she does come with these uh, power pieces, which clip into the hands and then you can kind of fire these we've seen these with like iron man and previous figures so there's nothing new there but you can kind of uh use a, fl a flick fire friction fire there to shoot them out of her hands which is actually pretty neat and then you get uh some of these like i guess you peg this in here and then you get one of these pieces here that you peg in to kind of make it look like she's floating. We've seen this before with the DC bags that they did. So it kind of looks like she's flying there, which is actually pretty cool. So really nice, really nice first pull. Gonna go ahead and sit her here. They do give you an extra one. So if you wanna use more than one, but otherwise I'm just gonna put the extra pieces off to the side. And we'll move ahead here to the second bag. So we'll see what we get here. And we have all right, this is Captain Carter, awesome. Now, Captain Carter is also available in one of the full sets. They did a full set for Captain Carter and the Hydra Stomper, I think that thing's called, the giant mech suit. So really nice printing here. And I love when they do the boots all the way around. I think that's really nice. Printing on the back also looks really good. So we'll go ahead, pop the head on there. She also has two expressions, kind of a friendlier expression kind of a more stern expression. And then we'll go ahead and give her her hair piece. Now this I believe is a new hair piece, very specific to her hairstyle, which I think is very cool. And then of course we have her shield, which we'll go ahead and pop on. Really nice, really very cool. Now she has these two blue pieces and I'm not sure if this is supposed to build like a tesseract. That's kind of my guess. I'm not 100% sure. Let me check the directions here and see if this gives us any kind of indication what this is supposed to be. I think it's funny they only give you like assembly instructions for, you know, maybe a third of the characters. So sometimes you're just kind of left to guess. 
yeah, I think you can see there, I think it's just supposed to be a Tesseract. So, I feel like they've done Tesseract pieces that are full-size Lego bricks, but I guess maybe this is more, like, size equivalent. So we can have her hold this little Tesseract here. And then she does come with the, like, uh, flying pieces. She doesn't fly, so I, I don't really know why she comes with this, but it does come with this, so. But yeah, very cool. Really loving the Captain Carter. Excellent, excellent minifigure. So I'm going to leave these directions off to the side just in case we need any more assembly help. But let's go ahead, let's move on to our third bag. And here we have... Oh, looks like an extra Captain Carter. So that's a bit of a bummer. Of all the ones to get duplicates of, uh, one I already have the full Lego set. So that's a bit of a bummer. But there you go. So you're bound to get some duplicates. So I do have a duplicate Captain Carter, so we'll put that one off to the side. So let's go ahead and move into the next one, which is... All right, we got Photon. Very cool. We dump this out. And she comes with the little helicopter drone that we saw in the show. So let me go ahead and build her. So there is her costume. Again, really nice. You get arm printing, back printing. Pretty standard set of black legs there. Not really any printing on the legs. And then we've got kind of a raised eyebrow <laughs> expression. And then a little bit nicer smiling expression. And we'll go ahead and give her her hair piece. Very nice. Alright, so I'm definitely going to want some instructions for building the helicopter here. All right, so let's gather up all the pieces here. So we start with this. We attach this to the back here, it looks like. Then we're going to take this piece and put this on the front. And then we're going to take this and put this on here for the propeller. So you can see we're left with quite a few extra pieces. So I'm just going to put those off to the side. And then again, she does come with the a flying piece. I don't really remember her flying in the show, but I guess just for leaping, any kind of action movement you want to do. I'm starting to suspect that everyone will come with one of these. Even if it doesn't really make that much sense. So we'll just have her, we'll grab it by the, uh, the tail here. But yeah, pretty cool. She looks great. Alright, so let's zoom out a little bit here. We will go on to the fifth bag. And we have... Alright, this looks like Loki. Alright, he comes with Frog Thor. I'm already excited. This is fantastic. Look at that detail. He's got the little helmet on the back. He's got his hammer. That is a fantastic little piece. That's very, very cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. Alright, so let's go ahead and put him together. Should be pretty straightforward. It says variant on the back, and he's got kind of a stern expression and then kind of a more jovial expression. And then here is his hair piece. And I'm thinking they must have made custom hair pieces for all these characters because they look really good. And then he has got a little coffee mug that says TVA on it. Very cool. And then, of course, he comes with the kind of jumping, flying little stand there. So I'm going to move him over to the side so we can also put Frog Thor on here. That's fantastic. That that alone is worth the price of admission. That's really, really cool. All right, so last bag. Let's go ahead, find out who we get. And it looks like we get... All right, we got Sylvie. So that is everything out of there. And most of her pieces come in this uh, second little bag here. So get that out of there. But we do come, or I should say it does come with the Gator Loki variant. Absolutely love that. That's fantastic. And then we will put Sylvie together here. She's got some really nice printing as well. You got some arm printing, back printing there. 
he's got kind of two happier expressions. And then you can see she's got the hairpiece with the crown there molded in with the one broken horn, which is really nice. And then she does come with two swords. Now, I don't know if she's supposed to have two swords. I kind of only remember her using one. Yeah, this, this picture just shows her with the one. But she does come with two, just kind of as a duplicate. So if you want to give her two, you can, or maybe give one to Loki. You do have some options there. And then, of course, she comes with the jump stand. So I kind of wish they had molded the crown on top of the gator. This kind of just feels like they repurposed a gator from something else, but still appreciate that it comes with the gator. So that's really fun. So honestly, not bad uh, for pulling six randomly and not being able to try to guess what's inside. I uh, got five out of six, so that's not too bad. Not too many duplicates, which I appreciate. Uh, definitely have a few more of these to collect. Definitely have to get Vision. Definitely have to get uh, Sam as a Captain America there. Bucky also comes with the shield. I think that's pretty cool. They both come with the shield there. Uh, zombie Cap, not as concerned about, but definitely want Spidey, definitely want T'Challa as Star-Lord. So, I mean, I'm going to try to track down all of these. And hopefully I don't end up with too many duplicates. But yeah, very, very cool. Really liking this wave. Very happy to get five out of six. So, have an extra uh, Captain Carter. Let's see if I can get this to... There we go. But yeah, these are all really great. They did a really nice job with all these. Very excited for this wave. Definitely going to have to track down some more. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Who's your favorite? Just You can tell me your favorite of all 12. Let me know who your favorite is out of the ones that I pulled here. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.